The OnePlus 8 has been one of my favorite phones as of late, offering incredible performance and customizable software at a fairly reasonable price, at least compared to the $1,000 flagships on the market. But OnePlus originally got its start by bringing those high-end features and specs to a significantly lower price point, and the Nord does just that with a shockingly similar experience for hundreds less, though whether or not you'll even be able to buy one depends on where you live. Let's break down the differences in these phones and figure out which one, if either, is right for you. The newly announced OnePlus Nord bears a pretty clear resemblance to its pricier sibling, the OnePlus 8, and that was entirely by design. While the cameras are offset on the Nord, both phones look nearly identical otherwise, with the same arrangement of buttons and the beloved sound profile switch, though you'll get a different striking finish on each. The key difference as far as the hardware is concerned is the OnePlus Nord's plastic midframe, which may sound like a turnoff for some at first, but trust me, it still feels extremely solid in the hand, and the back of the phone is still made of glass, just like on the OnePlus 8. In typical OnePlus fashion, you're getting a ton of feature carryover on the Nord, despite its lower price. It still features 30 watt fast charging, and there's a great 90 hertz panel up front with HDR10 plus and flat edges. I never minded the curved glass on the OnePlus 8, but these days it seems like more and more people just want flat displays, and if that's you, the Nord certainly wins some points here. It's also worth noting that the Nord only has a single bottom firing mono speaker, as opposed to the OnePlus 8's stereo setup that utilizes the earpiece speaker up top. If you're the type to blare your music sans headphones, the OnePlus 8 is definitely the better option. Of course, you'll also prefer the 8 if you need to have the latest and greatest processor, since its Snapdragon 865 chipset is considerably more powerful than the 765G in the OnePlus Nord. You'll notice the difference the most while gaming, where the Nord can sometimes suffer with some more demanding titles, but in most other situations, both phones run exceptionally smoothly. That's partially thanks to the 90Hz display on each phone, but it's also because OnePlus's OxygenOS software is incredibly light and efficient. You get the exact same iteration on both phones, OxygenOS 10.5 based on Android 10, and each will receive two major platform updates along with three years of security updates. That's actually a huge deal with the Nord, since long-term support tends to be the Achilles heel of most phones in its price category. The only other devices that can likely match that are Google's Pixel A series, more on that in a minute. So both phones use the same 48 megapixel Sony IMX586 sensor for the primary camera, and as you'd expect, they take nearly identical shots, though the difference in processors does have a slight impact on how each phone handles the final image. On the OnePlus 8, you get two additional cameras on the back, one ultra-wide and one dedicated macro. With the Nord, you get the same styles of lenses along with a fourth depth sensor. Both phones take good, not great, photos, but I find that the Nord's extra camera doesn't really do much to improve your shots. It's more so there so that OnePlus can brand the Nord as a quad camera phone. You also get an additional camera up front with the Nord, and this one's a bit more useful. In addition to the regular selfie camera, you get an ultra-wide with the Nord that makes it much easier to take group photos. Not that many of us will be doing that for a little while. By now, it's pretty clear that the OnePlus Nord is a significantly better value than the OnePlus 8, but you still may be better off with the latter depending on where you live. Here in the US, the Nord is a non-starter, it just isn't available, and if you want a similarly great camera and software experience at this price, you should just wait for the Pixel 4a instead, or spend the extra money and splurge on the OnePlus 8, or even the pricier OnePlus 8 Pro if you want better cameras. For shoppers in other parts of the world though, the Nord is a pretty easy recommendation over the OnePlus 8. You're getting a ton of the same DNA that makes the 8 such a great phone, and you even gain some perks like a flat display and the same 5G connectivity for quite a bit less money. Let me know in the comments down below which phone you'd pick up, and if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks as always for watching, and until next time, stay safe, and we'll see you on Wednesday for Samsung Unpacked.